Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. Today we're checking out confusing things about British homes. Oh, a letter from Siobhan, how nice. Siobhan! Hi Kate, thanks for taking over as host of Anglophenia. Since you're in London, uh, I was thinking no. a good topic for your first episode would be the differences between British and American homes. Please show everyone around and make them feel welcome. Siobhan, You've left the job. It's time to cut the cords. You don't need to be writing letters to the person who's replaced you telling them how to do their job, right? Let it go. You've moved on. I think recently I reacted to the last video Siobhan did for Anglophenia. I thought she got fired for her rage problem. Siobhan. Siobhan. But she didn't. She moved on to something else. And now she's telling the people who replaced her how to do her old job. Siobhan. Let it go. Move on, right? This person needs to find her own identity with the job. Also, you're giving them free work. Don't give them free brainstorming ideas. You're out of there. It's time to move on, right? This has been a good talk, Siobhan. I know you're watching. Wait, what's her name again? Kate. And make them feel welcome, Siobhan. Make them feel welcome. Hello? Oh, hello. Come on in and I'll put the kettle on. Oh. Okay, I guess she's talking to us. We're gonna go into her kitchen. We're gonna go into her house and she's gonna put the kettle on. In America, I wouldn't put the kettle on. I would offer a beverage, like a sparkling water maybe. If it was in the morning, I would offer them coffee. Actually, y'all, today I'm drinking tea. Isn't that weird? Chai tea over here. You can still buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. Put the kettle on, Kate. Hello? Hello. Oh, hello. Come I brought on a bag. Put the kettle on. Oh, great. Come on in, I've just put the kettle on. Great. This is the kitchen. Yes, that you have is a the washing, washing machine? machine in the kitchen. It's quite normal to have a washing machine in the kitchen in most UK homes. No matter how small the place is, we can usually squeeze one in. Okay. You see, we don't have any plug sockets in the bathroom and we have a general lack of space, so you'll usually find it in the kitchen. It's 11.20 a.m. Yo, I don't think that kettle's on. I think she's lying. Where's my tea? No plug sockets in the bathroom? What about like a blow dryer or a flat iron or a fan or your electric toothbrush or an electric mirror? What? How do you plug stuff in? I guess it's not that weird. There are a few places in America that have washing machines in the kitchen. It's usually like a studio apartment or something like that. It's not that unnormal. Actually, when I used to live in New York, I would go to people's houses or apartments and some of them had a toilet in the kitchen. I also had a, one of my coworkers had an apartment that was a hallway of a building that had been turned into an apartment, but it was a hallway. It was long and very thin and each room went into the next, like to get into the furthest bedroom, you had to go through someone else's bedroom. It was very strange. New York. Anyway, tell me more, Kate. Now this one is a front loader. A normal wash takes about two hours and you can dry your clothes That's a long time, isn't in the it? same machine. Just switch it wow. to dry. Mm. Yeah, that is pretty, as you say, rad. Now then, you've had a long journey. Would you like to use the bathroom? Yes, I'm going to take a dump okay. in your top Here we are, tier. the bathroom, the room with the bath. Now, That's the light nice switch is on this cord here. Just turn it on and off with a little tug. Stops any wet hands coming into contact with electricity. We don't want electric shocks. Oh. Which reminds Oh, so the light switches are so unsafe that they have to have a cord coming from the light bulb in the bathroom? I have regular light switches in my bathroom. Actually, ever since every bathroom I've ever lived with has had a light switch and not a cord hanging from the ceiling. That's bizarre. Which reminds me, there are no plug sockets in the bathroom. Strict building regs about this sort of really? thing. We really don't want electric shocks, although you will find outlets for electric razors like this one up oh, here. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. You look confused. Is this the room you're looking for? No. Oh, you need to spend a penny. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? What does spend a penny mean? Hey, I need to take a dump and I need you to leave. I can't dump with you in the bathroom. What does spend a penny mean? Spend a penny. Is that a euphemism for dumping? Going to the toilet. If someone says they are going to spend a penny, they mean they are going to the toilet. It does. It means take a dump. 
Kate, I need to spend a penny. I'm going to spend a penny on your chin if you don't leave. You see, during Victorian times, they moved the toilet from outside the home to inside, and then later on with the addition of running water was the bathroom added. So the toilet and bathroom aren't always one in the same. I'm so sorry about that. Right, this way for the toilet, lavatory, loo, or you could say ladies or gents. Kate, when I got here after my long journey and you asked me if I needed to use the bathroom, you were asking me if I wanted to take a bath? What is this, frickin' Sesame Street? How dumb does she think I am? Kate, I'm not on the spectrum, as far as I know. Maybe I am. I feel condescended too, Kate. Look at this facial expression you're giving me. It's like, hmm? Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand. I don't need a history lesson about when the toilet was brought in, when the bath was brought into the bathroom, when toilets were brought inside from outside. I just need to take a dump. If you could please leave the bathroom, please, Kate. Siobhan wouldn't stick around in the bathroom with me. She would know when to leave. Here we are, the loo. That's a brown toilet seat. Or maybe it's just really dirty. It's kind of like when someone has a rug in their dining room that's all kind of crazy Jackson Pollock looking. So if they drop food on it, you can't really tell. And over here, we've got the basin. Okay. Yes, yes, we have separate hot and cold water taps. Now, yeah, this what, why is that? When a lot of houses had separate hot water tanks, which could get easily contaminated. So to stop that water mixing with a clean, fresh, cold water supply, we had separate taps. Okay. Nowadays, though, most houses don't have a separate hot water tank. It's fine to have a mixer tap. But there's something about separate taps that us Brits just seem to find rather charming. So you'll still find them in a lot of modern homes. Oh, so it's a charming thing. It's like a call back to the past. It's like a horse or landline telephones or the monarchy. Us Brits just seem to find rather charming. So you'll still find them in a lot of modern homes. Now then, let me show you how to get a good temperature. <coughs> I breathed in tea. I breathed tea. I'm breathing tea, Kate. Help me. Oh. Oh my god. Pardon me for that. Kate, tell me how to get the right temperature. Let me show you how to get a good temperature. Just turn the hot water on and turn the cold water on. And then right. here's the fun bit. Just dot your hands between the two. It's rather exhilarating. She didn't use any soap. She did not properly wash her hands. There's fecal matter on those fingers, Kate. You know it? Disgusting. That's how typhoid gets passed around. Tuberculosis. E. coli. Salmonella. Herpes type 2. Kate, watch it. You better scrub those hands. Oh, yeah, COVID. Remember that? Oh, this is from like eight years ago. She doesn't know what COVID is. She doesn't know the happy birthday thing. Sorry, Kate. Just wait. You'll learn. <laughs> now, the left one is a little uh. bit stiff. You'll need to force it. Get it? Force it? <laughs> right, I'll leave you to it. I don't think Siobhan would have made that joke. Maybe she would have, but she would have done it ironically. She would have made fun of the joke. Kate hasn't found her voice yet. That's okay. It takes time. Maybe it is good that Siobhan wrote her a letter and told her what to do. <clears throat> I'm crying. I'm trying to not breathe in the tea. Ah, oh, there you are. You want to charge your phone? I found this adapter. Thought it might be quite useful. Oh. Our plugs are very different in the UK compared to what you have in America. We've got Yo, I reacted to a video about the plugs in the UK, and they're really good. They're really well designed. They have safety features. It's a good system. We need to change them over. Although, the way the energy runs through the walls is a little bit different, and it's more difficult for maintenance, like to repair. But let the electrician worry about that. You shouldn't be digging through the walls dealing with electricity anyway, right? Yeah. We've got three pins on our plugs instead of two. Okay, just to correct you, Kate, some of our plugs do have three pins. Not all of them do. A lot of them do. All right? Okay. We've got three pins on our plugs instead of two, and all of our plug sockets have an on-off switch. That's so great. So remember to turn that on That's if you want to use it. That's a safety feature. We must look like an awfully accident-prone bunch here in the UK. <laughs> Ooh. You don't have closets to put your clothes in either. Kate, you need to move. You have recessed lighting though. Hey, recessed lighting but no closet. Okay, priorities, Kate. Are you a little bit warm? I'm afraid we don't have any air conditioning in our homes as it rarely <gasps> gets warm enough. But there's nothing quite like a bit of oh. good old fashioned fresh air from outside. So if you get too hot, just open a window. What if you get cold? Ah, <coughs> it's lovely. 
lovely stuff. Just try not to leave it open too wide, otherwise you'll get a room full of pigeons. Now, if you've got any <laughs> questions, pop them in the comments below. And why don't you make yourself comfortable? A room full of pigeons? What about screens? Do you have screens on your windows? So, no air conditioning at all? Some of you, some of you have to have air conditioning, right? Some of you. I have an air conditioner and I use it once a year in September for like one night. It gets really hot in Los Angeles. It's a cheapy old low income property wall unit. But no AC and no screens on the window? Backup cape. Now, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. And why don't you make yourself comfortable? Subscribe for more videos and stick around for a while because I think we're going to get along just splendidly. Kate, don't put that on me. I've not made a decision about our relationship. I'm still feeling things out. So I feel like you saying that to me, you're fishing for me to say the same thing back to you. And I'm not ready for that. Siobhan still holds a place in my heart with her mean American jokes. You know what? She never gave me tea. Look, this kettle's not on. It's not burning. Frickin' liar, Kate. She never even offered us tea. She just put the kettle on. On the stove top without turning the stove on, Kate. Let me tell you how to make tea. You gotta turn the stove on first, Kate. Kate, you're doing okay. I forgive you. You'll get there. This video is like 10 years old, so I'm sure she got there eventually. I've seen videos with her before. She's fine. Do Miss Siobhan, though. Siobhan. Y'all, Siobhan's last name is Thompson. She was born in 1984. She was an archaeologist. She took classes at Upright Citizens Brigade. I took classes at Upright Citizens Brigade. She didn't get fired at all. Dimension 20 said on YouTube. The token for Siobhan. <laughs> um, so, hunch. Hey! Something. All right. She's working, y'all. She's doing it. She moved on to other things. She's doing great. Siobhan, I'm glad you're doing well. I know you're watching. Siobhan. 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 Anyway, thank you all for watching this video with me, and I'll see you next time. Later.